has a picture of this thing on her head so she can post it and this is done with with this thing that is called dash from Red Heart Boutique they sent us this yarn so that we could make things with it so special thanks to Red Heart because these are wonderful the colors are really really neat this this one here is called dash so okay so she made this thing to use as uh, around her head and you made it not me well you used it <laughs> I used it yes. so if you wanted to you know bigger or longer uh, add another skein and that's it but let's what this is what happened with this so with this one what I did is that I finger knitted the with this and I finger knitted so this is what you do you put your yarn over the palm of your hand up and down up and down up and down up and down up and down, up and down, and you finish with this one. So your index finger goes one, and then two, and then three, and four. So now we have one on each finger, and this is where your, where your yarn is on your index. So you go behind your index finger, and on top of the next one, under, on top of your pinky, and no, of course, yeah, you end on your index finger. So this goes over the pinky, and this is the next one, and this is the next one, and this is the next one. Always the bottom ones are the ones that go over. Yes, mm -hmm. the ones, these are the ones that are going to go over the next mm -hmm. set. So this is the where, where my yarn is, and that is going to go under, over, under, over, under, over. So you do this until the end of your yarn. So... Uh, of course I'm not going to do the whole thing because it would take me a long time to do and what I want to show you is how to make that braid thing so of course you're going to have something that will resemble flat in the back and this is what it looks like see looks like that but pull on it and if you pull on it it becomes like an I cord see it becomes it's a little bit flat but it it's like an I cord it's all around so you have one so you have like four stitches because I'm using the four fingers but some people use it flat I don't I pull on it and make it round so what you do is that you continue doing this until you have a long 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 one and you will end up with something like this so what happened here let me see where the beginning is so let me see this is how it looks when the whole thing is done because on the last one you just pass your yarn through and you're done. So what I did with this is that I made a slip knot like this. So remember to put the long piece on your left and then put your hand through and pass it again and put the long piece on your left or on your right as long as you do always the same so pull it through and pass it again and 
make it big and pass it again it through and you do this the whole thing so this is very easy so let's just do the whole thing and we're going to have one more and now of course this one has to go inside this loop because it has to stay in place so now we have it here's where it is make it almost or more or less the same and then of course it looks very nice on this side and it looks very nice on this side and then this is what you wear around your head or you can make it you know mm -hmm.